Please select a landing zone. of the skull's bodies is what gives them their power. Similar to my children who live in my skin. I modified the parasites I isolated from the body of that old man, differentiating them with various abilities. One that can blend perfectly into its surroundings by exposing the pigments in its cells at will. Another that by harboring multiple species of metallic archaea can oxidize and reduce metal. Isolating the one that covers and transplanting it into an artificial medium should provide the same abilities as the skulls. But they can only subsist within a human body once transplanted into the medium. They will eventually die. Another thing. The weakness of the one that covers is desiccation. Their surface moisture loss is greater than ours. The reason they give off mist is to alleviate this by releasing the salts inside them as microparticles. Water vapor condenses around them, appearing as mist. But this dries out the atmosphere until they cannot even produce mist. And once their supply of water from the host runs out, the parasites are in danger. They, along with their host, enter a form of suspended animation. However, a similar effect occurs if they come into contact with a large amount of water. Rain, for instance, the one that covers will temporarily abandon other processes in his eagerness to absorb the water. Make the weather your ally. Enemy presence detected. The map has been updated. Hewitt's dug up some interesting facts about our skull-faced friend. Nine years ago, he was exiled to South Africa, stripped of political power. The upshot's that he ceased being a serious threat, in Cypher's eyes anyway. They eased up on surveillance, giving him an opening to establish his own military unit, one that answered to his will alone. Those men likely had no idea their orders were coming from Skullface. They probably didn't even know the organization was a part of Cypher at all. Anyway, it was in South Africa where he found renewed interest in parasites. And when he discovered the vocal cord parasites, he began... He's coming too. Roger that. Language out of existence. Free the world, not by taking men's lives, but by taking their tongues. In his eyes, the greatest symbiotic parasite the world's ever known isn't microbial, it's linguistic. Words are what keeps civilization, our world, alive. There was something Skullface said. America is made up of many peoples, but those peoples never mix. Quite so. One nation, home to hundreds of different ethnic groups, many of whom stick to their respective living areas, little colonies, not interacting with other groups. 
going out of their way to avoid one another. The land, organizations, relationships. Thus, the United States of America is no melting pot. It is more of a salad bowl. It is not made up from one people, but for its minorities to function in society, a common ground is needed. Language. Even if the country is not one, no, because it's not one, a lingua franca is necessary. English. American hegemonism was born from the illusion that English could unite diverse ethnicities. In taking in people from around the globe, America became a microcosm of it. Now the boundaries between it and the rest of the world have become blurred. However different our neighbors may be, English enables us to create symbiotic relationships with each other. If English can bring unacquainted neighbors together in America, this should hold true for the world. This salad bowl that is the target can also become one.
updated. He's coming too. Roger that. Supply drop complete. Side op completed. Side op list updated. Leave the rest to us. Extraction arrived at another base. You destroyed their anti-air radar? It wasn't one of the targets, but that's put a hole in their air surveillance. The chopper will be able to get in close now. You can designate a landing zone near the outpost. Please select a delivery point. Marker placed. Please select a delivery point. Roger that.
coming too. Roger that. Subject on board. Leave the rest to us. You gotta extract him. Roger that.
Confirmed. We'll pick it missed. up. Updated. I wonder what kind of secrets are buried in it. I'll let you know if we learn something. Got a report from the intel team. Remember how the man on fire was crushed by Sahalanthropus? Well, the Soviets recovered his body. Extraction really arrived dead. at Mother Base. Boss, head for Yaha Obu supply outpost and secure the man on the fire's body. Has been if Skullface was right, and a thirst for revenge can turn a man into a demon who keep the dead alive, and this man on fire who's been coming after us ever since you woke up, well, that just might be what's left of our old friend Golden. Support helicopter Roger. requested. You destroyed their anti-air radar. Confirmed. It wasn't one of the targets, but that's put a hole in their air surveillance. The chopper will be able to get in close now. You can designate a landing zone near the outpost.
Doctor, has a You're going to extract him. Extraction arrived at Mother Base. Development project has been added. Please select a mission. Unit dispatched. Unit dispatched. Please specify a project. Please specify a project. Okay. 